Hi folks, my name is Paymon. Welcome to your YouTube channel. And today is Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024. I will be speaking the English language, then I will switch to the Persian language. It is for quite some time I want to write about Ali Khamenei as an antichrist. I had the information that I could use it against him, but I needed more information, something that he is saying it. He, it's not just the killing that he has done, or it's not uh, he does torture, all these things, one side, but I, I wanted him to say it, that I am an antichrist. However, he didn't say he is an antichrist. His action says that I'm an antichrist. On January 1st, 2024, he appears before Qasem Soleimani's family and he said he had a conversation with God. I'm like, nobody can have a conversation with God. That's absolutely impossible. God is pure. God is divine. God doesn't need to talk to me. I need, I'm desperate to talk to God. That's why I pray to God. And I believe in God 100%. I was using my Bible resources to prove what I want to say. That Ali Khomeini is an antichrist. Let's look at history. Historical figures. Not just the history. Historical figures. Nero. Nero is a, was an emperor of Rome. All he did, persecute Christians. That's all he did. He didn't do anything else. And that was a rebellion against God, really. Persecuting Christians. That's not something God likes to see us doing it. Even there is a person that I don't like them, whatever is the reason. I believe their faith is fake. They just made it up. I cannot go over there and persecute them. Because it's going to make God angry. Only God can judge people. The only thing I can do, pray for them to move towards salvation. That's all I could do. Pray for people. I cannot persecute them. At age of 30, Nero committed suicide and his number is 666. The mark of the beast he has. Now after that we are coming to Napoleon. Napoleon is a person, I have a right figure, I just want to look at it to tell you guys the exact number that uh, I found it. <clears throat> First we are looking at uh, Napoleon. His wars have caused somewhere between 3 million to 6 million people, including civilians and military people. There are people, there are theological scholars who will be saying that he is an antichrist too. Napoleon himself as a, is an antichrist. The next person that everyone agree on, ag is agree with it is Hitler. Hitler <coughs> exposed to Madame Balavatsky's ideas that the Aryan race is destined to dominate the other race group, he formed tall society and he began to conquer the world. That was his vision. He caused about 15 to 38 million deaths. Remember, this is what I want to say. Satan will always call people who are willing to sell their soul to Satan. And one thing Satan wants from them, to kill people. It is a fact. Satan loves slaves that they will go and kill people. And that's what they had done. Ali Khomeini has done the same thing. He has murdered people in cold blood, in prison, in the street, to remain 
in power. One of the charges of blasphemy against Ali Khamenei is this, that he says he is sign of God, Ayatollah. And why is that blasphemy? Blasphemy, you're asking yourself. Because Islam has five pillars. The first pillar is God's unity. That cannot be violated. If that is violated, then person is facing blasphemy charges. And coming and saying that he is, he's talking, he's having direct communication with God, that itself is a blasphemy. No. Second Telosanian 2 4. The Bible says, He will oppose himself to everything that people call a God or make an object of worship. He will put himself above them all so that he will sit in the temple of God and proclaim that he himself is God. So, if we wanted to look at Antichrist, when he lies, he speaks according to his own nature, for he is a liar and the father of lies. John 8:44. The first time Satan appears in the Bible in Genesis 3, the first words on his lips are suspicious of truth. Did God say, you shall not eat of any tree in the garden? And the second words on his lips were a subtle falsehood. You will not die. John says that Satan has nothing to do with the truth because there is no truth in him. John 8:44 We are dealing with a sense of falsehood and deception. This is Ali Khamenei. Now I approach this issue from theological point of view. And Ali Khamenei is not the only person who said that he spoke with God. Mike Tyson used a psychedelic and he says, I saw God and I talked with God. Okay? Notre Dame have a predicted future and talked about Napoleon and Hitler. He never said he's a prophet or anything in that nature. It is very, very difficult for me to accept Ali Khamenei's version that he spoke with God. And now, those of you who are following Ali Khamenei and who are saying we are pious, we are devoted Muslim, all that, it is a wake up call for you. It is a wake up call for you. And it's a wake up call for anybody who is allowing Khomeini, I'm talking about the Western countries, to do what they are doing. I will be speaking the Persian language. Ba durood faravan be hamay azizam. Be barnomay kanal YouTube khodetun khosh umadi. Dar rabate ba Ali Khamenei daram sohbat mikonam ke mige man ba khoda sohbat kardam. Va in ke in shakhs mige man ba khoda sohbat kardam in نشون میده که داره کف صحبت میکنه حالا بیایم تاریخ و ورق بزنیم برگای تاریخ و ورق بزنیم میبینیم که کسانی بودن مانند امپراتور روم به نام نرو شماره 20 داره 6 6 6 این از اون لحظه ای که به قدرت امپراتوری میرسه شروع میکنه مسیحی ها رو عذیت و آزار و کشتنشون و آخر سر خشم خدا رو میاره در سن سی سالگی فرار میکنه چون همه میان دنبالش که اینو بکشن فرار میکنه و خودکشی میکنه نفر بعدی که بعضی ها که درس های الهی خوندن میگن ناپلونم انتی هستش یعنی 
بر ضد خدا هستش بر ضد مسیحیت حضرت عیسی هستش چرا چون که ایشون تصمیم میگیره که دنیا رو بگیره دنیا رو میخواسته بگیره معاون سه تا 6 میلیون آدم رو میکشه هیتلر هیتلر هم انتی کرایس هستش چون که اونم میخواسته دنیا رو بگیره اون به خانم مدن پلاوسکی گوش میده مدن پلاوسکی تیاسوفی داره سوسایتی داره این میاد تول سوسایتی رو درست میکنه و میخواد دنیا رو بگیره کی میخواد به من این دنیا رو بده همیشه شیطان میگه میخوام به دنیا رو بدم من اینو درست نوشتم تو بلاگم گذاشتم تو قسمت انگلیسی این قسمت رو نگفتم ولی تو قسمت فارسیش دارم میگم اینه میخواد دنیا رو بهتون بده کسانی که حاضرن تو این دنیا زندگی کنن و همه چیز رو داشته باشن روحشون رو به شیطان میفروشن میگم بیا مال تو اون چیزایی اون چیزایی که تو این دنیا هستش بده به من و علی خامنی هم انجام داده آدماش انجام دادن به خودشون میگم ما نشانه های خدا هستیم ما آیت الله هستیم حالا خامنه ای رفته دیگه تموم کرد با نشانه خدا نیست من نمیدونم دیگه چی میخواد بگه بعد از این به خانواده قاسم سلیمانی گفته که من با خدا صحبت کردم کسی با خدا نمیتونه صحبت کنه این کفره در دین اسلام پنج تا پایه داره پایه اولش توحیده یعنی هیچ چیز رو ما نمیتونیم به خدا ربطش بدیم و این کارو کرد این کفر بسیار بزرگیه جالبیش اینه که در انجیلو وقتی میخونی سکن دومین تولسیل تولسیل نمیتونم ترفزش با من الان یو تو اونجا میگه همین چیزی رو که کسانی که میگن ما نشانه خدا هستیم همین ها هستن ملا ها که میگن ما نشانه خدا هستیم میخوان همه رو به گمراهی بکشونن میخوان همه رو گمراه کنن آگاهی پیدا نکنن علی خامنه با یکی داره صحبت میکنن میگه با یکی دارم صحبت فکر میکنه با خدا صحبت میکنه نه با خدا صحبت نمیکنن اون شیطانه که داره با صحبت میکنه تو تامنل این ویدیو کلیپ رو نگاه کنیم میبینیم من عکس شیطان رو گذاشتم با یکی داره صحبت میکنه علی, علی خامنه ای داره با شیطان داره صحبت میکنه اونه که داره بهش میگه چیکار کنه حالا نتیجه چی؟ من چرا این, این, این هم وقت گذاشتم نوشتم اینجا ویدیو کلیپ دارم درست میکنم به خاطر یه چیزه اون کسانی که مذهبی هست یا نمیدونم چجور بگم خدا پرستی دارید به ویژه اونهایی که دنبال علی خامنی افتادن دنبال این جمهوری اسلامی افتادن این صدایی بود که شماها بدونید ایشون شیطون پرسته ایشون کافره دنبالش را نیفتید این دیگه این دیگه آخرین ورنینگی بود که شما اخ، اختار بود آخرین اختار شما گرفتید که این شیطان پرسته با شیطان در تماس با شیطان داره صحبت میکنه و اون اونه که داره بهش میگه چیکارا کن و بسیار خطرناکه بسیار خطرناکه سپاس بزارم با بچه های سپار و فرماندهان سپار حدود شاید بیست نفر بودن نماز خوندیم بعد من نشستم رو پله یه صحبت گرم و گیرایی کردم قبلا هم فکرش رو نکرده بودم خدای متعال همینطور حرف میزد در واقع زبان من بود حرف خدا بود خیلی جلسه عجیبی بود خیلی تأثیراتی بود داشت صحابه هم این هم نمونه کارمه ببین نماز خوندیم بعد من نشستم رو پله یه صحبت گرم و گیرایی کردم قبلا هم فکرش رو نکرده بودم خدای متعال همینطور حرف میزد در واقع زبان من بود حرف خدا بود خیلی جلسه عجیبی بود 
خیلی تاثیر داره